Events towards people of Asian descent are rippling through the University of Pennsylvania, and it all stems from one of its own. Outspoken law professor Amy Wax is under fire once again, this time for bluntly declaring the U.S. would be better off with fewer Asians. Our race and culture reporter Toronto Thomas explains while Wax's remarks are hurtful, her job at UPenn may be protected. It's pretty racist. The response that many had after reading the comments from UPenn law professor Amy Wax after an interview where she stoked fears about what she calls a danger of dominance of the Asian elite. She followed her argument by saying, quote, I think the United States is better off with fewer Asians and less Asian immigration. I don't appreciate hearing comments like that because that's not I don't want to be a part of the community that has anything to do with words like that. The dean of UPenn's law school feels the same, calling Wax's comment anti-intellectual and racist. He goes on to say, quote, Wax's recent comments inflict harm by perpetuating stereotypes and placing differential burdens on Asian students, faculty, and staff. It creates worry for international students like Quan Q. So I think at Penn, racist is definitely cannot be like tolerated anywhere. I think it's very upsetting for people to hear those kinds of views coming from such a lustrous uh, platform. But Temple platform. Law Professor Craig Green says Wax is protected by tenure. She has a working contract with the University of Pennsylvania that protects her. Uh, that are designed to create that space for her to ap operate as an intellectual. Wax tried to justify her standpoint by saying most Asians support Democrats and that the party, quote, mindlessly valorizes blacks, the group most responsible for anti-Asian violence, end quote. Our 6 ABC data team found that's not true. Analyzing FBI statistics of reported crimes against Asian people in 2020, 52% of those crimes were committed by white perpetrators. 22% of perpetrators were black. Similar stats hold for the decade ranging from 2010 to 2020. I don't I don't think anyone should make any negative remarks against one racial group. The dean of the law school also says, quote, Wax's views are diametrically opposed to the policies and ethos of this institution, end quote, but the damage may already be done. Especially coming from a professor of an Ivy League school. It's a sad moment in that respect, I think, for uh, the University of Pennsylvania. Some of the repercussions UPenn could face include difficulty recruiting diverse students in the future. After previous controversial comments about black students, Amy Wax is no longer allowed to teach core classes. Now, I did reach out to her for comment. She did not respond. At the University of Pennsylvania, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News.